everybody. I hope that you're having a fantastic week this first week of August. And today I'm going to wrap up our series on how to live with brilliant balance and discuss with you how to make time to give. Now I know that this seems like a strange thing to include when you're talking about life balance because most coaches and lifestyle experts will tell you to focus on you and to look inward and to do all the things that attend to your personal wellness. And if you followed the series at all, you know that I'm all about personal wellness and self-care and all of that kind of thing, but the happiest people don't simply live for themselves. It's important to also feather in time and work out how to give back. The happiest people are those who live with an others-centered purpose also included in their lives. And that's important to pour in and pour out. Both of those are involved when you're living with brilliant balance in your life. But we're so busy nowadays that the word busy has become a replacement for the term fine when people ask who we are, how we are. So we tend to de define ourselves as busy and how do you make time to volunteer in the midst of life's already overscheduled world. Here are a few tips on how to live with brilliant balance and make time to give. First of all, you can't find time for anything. And I've mentioned that several times in this series. You have to make time according to what's a priority. And your identity and your sense of who you are, your sense of why, should be one of your top priorities in your life. So if giving, if volunteering your time is part of who you are, how you define yourself, your why in life, you will begin to make time for volunteering because it is a priority. So you'll have to determine what what season you're in in your life. Am I in a season where, say, I have two small children at home, I have a brand new baby, I'm caring for an elderly parent, something like that is going on, you may, or if you're recovering from cancer or something awful like that is happening in your life and you're in crisis, it may not be a season where you're able to give back a lot. However, knowing that it's important in every stage of life to find some way to give of yourself to other people. Even if you're going through a hard time and you don't have a lot of time, everybody should be giving something. Even if it's being a member of the prayer team at church and you're on that chain where you take the prayer requests and you, you further send them on to others on the prayer chain. That doesn't take a lot of time, but it still gives you involved in an others-centered purpose. And that will help you feel more fulfilled in life than just thinking about how you don't have time. So make sure you know your season and pray about how much time you can include in your life for volunteering. You might want to start small. Maybe I'll volunteer for 30 minutes and that's it. Maybe I'll volunteer two hours of my time this month and I'll try it out and see how it goes. Try to fit in just a little bit of time and wade in and then see how you feel about that particular volunteer position. As you're praying, pray also about what kind of volunteering you should do so that you don't get burned out. Do a little bit of time. Don't overschedule yourself. And another way to not get burned out is to make sure that your volunteer service aligns with your passion and your sense of purpose. Again, it's aligned with your identity. Who are you? How are you made? And make sure that your volunteer time is lined up with that. I just switched up volunteer positions at my church so that instead of doing one, which was kind of starting to burn me out because it wasn't really a good fit for me, I'm doing one that's lined up with writing, which is my thing. So I'm able to volunteer how I made, and that's going to be so much more fulfilling and much more energizing for me while I'm also lifting up other people. So I'm volunteering in three different places, but my schedule allows me to do that right now. It may change. As I become more busy with my work, I may not be able to continue to do that. So always reevaluate in prayer what you're able to do, but always be giving something. We should all be giving of our time to others because that's what makes life matter. Who we are is more important than all the busy things that we do. So always keep that in mind. And how you bless other people is really about who you are. So align it with passion and purpose. Consider who you are and what you're giving. And do something every quarter. 
even if it's just once a quarter you go and you you do like our, our church does feed the bay where we all go and we we serve and volunteer either at the local grocery stores to collect per, non-perishable foods or we go to the actual food banks all throughout our community and stock the shelves with the food that people that have donated so do something small once a quarter at least once a month then you can step up if you're able to and then if you can an hour a week is great too so find something whatever you feel prayerfully led to do in size and try them on for size if one volunteer position doesn't fit change up and try another one don't just give up keep trying until you find that perfect fit and you should journal how that makes you feel when you've given how do you feel when you've when you blessed other people through what you do in your volunteer time and you might want to ask for guidance on choosing one if you've never volunteered before and you don't know where to start ask a mentor a life coach or a pastor somebody who's familiar with volunteer work and ask somebody who's going to be objective enough not to say well you should just volunteer for mine have somebody that knows you well that is comfortable with volunteering to find something that's going to be a good fit for you and the next thing that i'm going to suggest is very important to keep you from burning out and to help make sure that you are most fulfilled by your volunteer position know your healthy boundaries know your limits how much you can do and learn this word this is a magic word when it comes to volunteer work charitable organizations whether you're paid or not paid you need to know this word ready no no and to say no it's very very important to know this is all that i can do i can't do more because places that need volunteers are constantly going to need more and they're always at a shortage for people to help you need to know what your limits are and people that are good to volunteer with will respect those limits so that's what i have for you today on making time to volunteer um, find some time to do with your kids if you have kids there are things that you can do in your communities there's a, societies that go and together as families you can gather extra crops that are donated then to local food pantries and that's a really great way to help introduce your kids to giving back so even if you're a parent and you've got young kids there's always things that you can do together so be creative and come up with wonderful things that you can do together as a family and learn to live with brilliant balance by giving out what you take in. I hope that you have a fabulous day and I look forward to reading your comments and responding to all of them either here or on DivineEncouragement.com. Have a blessed and wonderful week. Bye-bye.